Hunters, huckleberry pickers, and anglers, they're all leery about giving away their favorite spots. But one avid fly fisherman and author not only knows about remote fishing holes, he tells people how to get there and then what to do to be successful. His targets are Montana's smaller, lesser known streams. In this little stream, I've caught 20 inch cuts. I've caught some bigger bulls. But mostly you come to these little streams to get away from everything else. We'll tag along with Trapper Badovinic to watch and to learn. That's tonight at 10 in my weekly trip to the great outdoors. So you're not going to tell us where you huckleberry pick then? Is that what you're saying? I, were I huckleberry pick? No. Oh. Would you? No. Well, there you go. So where's your favorite place to fish? And would you tell just anybody how to get there? One Montana man knows the state's waterways like the back of his hand, and he's more than eager to share what he knows. Let's take you to the great outdoors. This is what I do. This is what I love. This is my passion. Outdoor author and avid fisherman Trapper Badovinic is at home when he's in the water, especially when he's far off the beaten path. You come to these little streams to get away from everything else. But finding a productive small stream takes research, like studying topographical maps. They tell you, does the stream go through private property? Are there county roads? Are there trails going into it? It tells you a lot about the gradient. This is, if it's going to be too steep, you're not going to find fish. If it's too flat, it's probably, it probably might be too warm. And that led him to Montour Creek. We've seen a couple midges, a few smaller bugs but no, nothing in the way of a hatch, and so the fish, they're not going to move. Monitoring air and water temperature is also key. The hatches don't start till about 50 degrees, and so you have to hit that time of day, which is real nice because you can sleep in and hit these about noon and have a really good day in a few hours in the afternoon. And then there's the proper equipment. I like to use a two-way rod. It's, you know, it's nothing to it. It's a couple of ounces. And if you get a lighter rod, you're going to hook up fish and they're going to feel like a big fish. So while most anglers choose to fish Montana's larger, more popular big name rivers, you'll find trapper far from the crowds. This takes a little bit more work. Um, the fish are a little bit smaller. You're going to have to, to do some walking. You're going to have to do some climbing over wood debris pile. But it, I think it's worth it just for the solitude. And if you'd like to learn more about Trapper's insights into fishing Montana's smaller streams, log on to kpax.com, click on Missoula, then the Fly Fishing with Trapper news links. And two of my better outings last year on smaller streams. You know, there's nobody out there that yeah. doesn't get the fishing pressure. One time I uh, went up the Bitterroot and caught 31 fish in one afternoon. Okay. Wow. And the other time, remember, I saw the bear up the tree. That's right. And uh, so. so you can't have experiences like that on the large rivers where there's just you know, where you're shoulder to shoulder with so many fishermen. Right. Well, wherever you were with him, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so, it was beautiful. You know, there's that aspect of it too. Yeah. And if you don't have to get up till you know 10 or 11 to that's fish, that's a bonus. I had no idea. That's a good thing.